Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and we are back at Kajinori at the, uh, I believe, let me see, it's called Green Harbor. I couldn't remember what it was called, honestly. <laughs> Should have been simple. Uh, one of my viewers had suggested that I come back here because there's a lot I haven't explored. Apparently, there's a lot of things that you can check out here. You can even fish here. I kind of figured you could, but... Yeah, I didn't notice this cat there earlier. <laughs> Not sure why he's there. He's just hanging out, I guess, waiting for fish. But, yeah, there's some other things here that you can go look at. I think down here you can actually rent a boat. But the big thing is, is that you need to speak to this guy. Apparently, he can give you missions. And I think he can also help you help you with playing the game let's see fortunately the equipment on the rental boat is malfunctioning needs some replacement assist in setting up new devices and give valuable rewards the necessary devices that need to be calibrated will be delivered soon in the meantime catch some fish and feed the local cat community <laughs> how does what do you just take it to the is there a mission that I made available? Let's see. No? Well, let's see if we can't catch a fish and feed the cat community. And come over here. Here we got a little dock here. Yeah, I've got it set up to where I can fish for smaller, smaller fish, so... Wait a minute, it might be a good idea to try to fish with a bottom rod too, but I don't think we need anything as big as what we've got. Let's see, we've got definitely got activity over here. No, we don't need to put that on there. Let's see. Uh, how big of a hook should we put on there? Let's put a two on there. Now I think it's the anchovies to go for that. Let's see if anything will bite. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might want to use a bottom rod. We're going to have to get some bottom rods. I didn't set up a whole bunch of them when I initially set this up because mostly time. Yep, you can set it there. All right, let's see if we can't get something. All right, let's put that one down. Oh, yeah, there we go. And something did go for that other one. What do we got here? We got us a Japanese Jack Mackerel. And I got one on this one as well. Another Japanese Jack Mackerel. see here was which one was going off was it this one
No. Wasn't this one. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to work, honestly. See, it's going to be one. It's going to be this one here. Let's see here. Did we lose our squid? Nope. Well, since we got a couple of fish, let's see if we can feed the the cat. No? Nothing happened there. Let's try this. I can't give the cats anything. No. Nope. Well, maybe I'm not supposed to feed the cats. <laughs> They're not taking any of the... Or maybe I'm feeding them the wrong thing. That's a good possibility. Alright, we're getting a bite on number four. This might be the anchovy that we're... Yep, that completed that one. Japanese anchovy. That's the littlest fish we can catch. I don't know if we... I wonder if we can just give it to the cat. <laughs> nah, we'll keep it. Let's see what happens. Nope, I still can't give it to him. Let's try the other cat. <laughs> well, it doesn't. I guess I can't feed it directly to them. Oh well. We yeah, can definitely catch fish here. Most of them being small. But I was also kind of passing some time here so that I could go back to doing some trolling. But I wanted to do it during the peak periods. Yeah, I've been told to keep coming back here, so... I will do that. But first, let's go ahead and get this out of the way and we'll get back on the boat. I don't know if I can just go ahead and fast travel now that I've got these navigational buoys. But I kind of like to go back here again. Yep, we can fast travel. That's so awesome. And we are now back in Goliath Grouper territory. Funny thing is, they're not showing up on the sonar at all. Well, let's take the take it a little bit into the peak here. Ah, now we're seeing fish. Look at it. Holy crap. Well, I think we need to start setting up some gear and see if we can just take this boat around a little bit. Obviously, we're not going to go for a bunch of small fish. We're going to try to get this set up properly. Now, this one's already set up for doing the, the trolling. I want to see if it's this new setup here. This is using, what do they call it, a trolling hook, live bait trolling hook. And Japanese Jack Mackerel that goes for Tarpon, Tuna, Marlin, Greater Amberjack, Giant Chevelli, Narrow Barred Mackerel. Love to get a Tuna. That's what I really want to get. Alright. We've got an 8 odd hook on here. I don't know if that's going to be big enough. 
Well, we'll try it. We'll just see what happens. Now let's throw it out a little farther than that. Back up here. And we'll just troll where all, we, all these fish are located. Let's see if anything bites. Okay, so now we got something. Oh wow, this is a good sized fish. Took a while to get something to bite. Let's bump that up a little bit more. Hold on. I'm going to need to slow this boat down. Because we're headed for rocks. <laughs> That's not cool. Okay, we still got it. Yep, we were heading for rocks. Wouldn't be cool to have the boat crash. Okay, what have we got? Yeah, I was a little disappointed about the cats. I, I think I'm doing something wrong with that. I don't know if I need to save the fish for later or what, but... I think I'm doing something wrong. This is a big fish. He really took it out. Okay, that's about as much as I want to risk. On the tension. see what we got here because there's a number of things that go for this Japanese Jack Mackle bait so be cool to get something new I think we're going to have better luck catching the tuna with the trolling they just don't strike me as something that go for bottom fishing as much Whatever it is we got, I think we're gaining on him. Well, spoke too soon. Yeah, my first day in this, I got almost 250,000 credits. And I could have kept going. It was just... But I wanted to get to daytime because it was already like 7 o'clock. And it's, I was afraid if we went to the Green Harbor, I wasn't going to be able to see things as well. Okay, he's... Dang, gone. Hmm. It seems like you have ganging on him, and then he just suddenly starts taking off with it. Oh, there he goes again. Yeah, he's taking off with it. It 
whatever this is, it's big. Okay, I'm just going to reel it in for a minute. My. Yeah, I had it down to... Okay, he's starting to tire a little bit. Well, he was. <laughs> you had in the 60s before, but he took it all the way back up into the 100. Okay, that's the farthest I've gotten so far. We got him. We got him. Let's see what he is. Trophy Greater Amberjack, another one. 115 pounds. I was actually thinking he was going to be bigger the way he was fighting. Take a look, him. Good sized fish. We've already gotten one of those, though, but still, good way to start it off. 115 pounds. Alright, I am going to go ahead and maybe bump this up a little bit. Let me take a look at the baits here that we've got. Wait a minute, first, before we do anything else. Albacore. Schooling pelagic fish. Japanese flying squid, Japanese jack mackerel, that's what I'm using, Japanese anchovies, big eye tuna, same thing. We've already got the dog tooth tuna. That's a smaller one. Pacific bluefin tuna, these things bring in a ton of cash if you can get one. Yeah, everything I'm fishing with should. I mean, skipjacks, even the striped marlins. Hmm. Plugs, trolling octopuses, octopi should be octopi, <laughs> not octopuses. I, that, that's not right. Squid chain, crankbait, minnows, huh? So they go for crankbait. That's interesting. Kind of strikes me as odd. There's a sailboat. Oh, there's a whole bunch of sailboats. Well, let's try this again. Oh, wow. They get close. Of course, there's nobody on board. They're sailing themselves. <laughs> All right, let's throw this out there ways. Good ways. Let's start the boat up. Let's try not to hit the rocks. Let's 
still got plenty of fish around here. And there's a lot of them at the surface, which is good. Got something splashing around down there. Yeah, I think one's still a good speed. It's what I usually, the speed I use when I'm, when I've trolled before. Oh, shoot. See, now we're getting bites. Okay, this guy has definitely taken it. Hoping we get something other than a greater amberjack or dog tooth. Something a little different. Okay, this is not as big as what we caught before. That's for sure. It's coming in a lot easier. got. It's a greater amberjack. So this must be a school of them. Thank God. I want something new, guys. Something different. Something new. I want to get a big tuna. I need to upsize our hook. That might help. Let's just try this again. Yeah, one's definitely the best speed. Let's try to turn this thing around a little bit. Definitely get away from the rocks. We'll head back towards our navigation buoy. I think they gave us like 22 of them or something like that. It's actually pretty good. Okay, we got a bite. Ah, there we go. And he's taking it. Yeah, if I get another greater amberjack, we're going to put a much bigger hook on here. You might try the flying squid this time. Yeah, this is not a big fish. I thought for, for a minute we had something big. Yep, another greater amberjack. Yeah, we're changing. We're changing. Alright, let's check out what we can do about increasing this gear here. Uh, I think the hook... Let's see, live bait trolling. Okay, there we go. Well, the biggest they got is 10 odds, so we're going to go up to the largest size we have. I'm not sure about the sinker. So we got head starter sinker, 4 ounce. Well, we can try a little bit bigger. We could go down a little farther. 
let's see. Finger mullets, Japanese anchovy, scaled sardines. Oh, you can't put those on there, huh? Let's try the scaled sardine. Yeah, I think last time I did better with the scaled sardines. Well, we could try. No, well, let's try that. Let's try a small anchovy. I got a little bit bigger sinker, so maybe it'll go down a little deeper. If we get another greater amberjack, I think what I'm going to do is go back to one of the artificial lures. Yeah, nothing's going for it. Apparently, whatever's out here is not into anchovies. Let's see here. What else could we try here? Some kind of artificial lure, maybe. Kind of interested to see if the crankbaits would work. Pilkers. Let's try a big trolling octopus and see what that does. Rainbow colored. Red. Yeah, let's try that. Straight for the navigation buoy. I wonder if he's a member of our club. There's nobody on the boat. Oh. Got us a butt. Ah, God bless it. Okay. Oh, yeah. There it goes. There it goes. This is fighting a little bit different. Yeah, this is definitely fighting a little bit different. I'm not sure what this could be. I don't think it's another greater amberjack. This one's fighting very erratically. I'm thinking that he could take it out anytime he wants to. So he may be bigger than he appears. Listen to that line strain. Okay. 
Okay, we got us a bit of a fight here. Can't possibly even guess what this is. I hope it's a tuna. I've been wanting to see another tuna other than the dog tooth. Yeah, this one's one that could probably get off the line from low line tension real easily. Yeah, quickly he took it back out to 60. We got him. What is this guy? Oh my god. Nice. It's another unique fish. Unique narrow barred mackerel. 12, 12,500 cash. 120 pounds. 87.7 .7 inches. This is as big as they come, guys. We've gotten all three sizes. Very nice. That's our tiger striped fella. Yeah, he was definitely a better fighter. Let's see, let me get a better light situation. There we go. Yeah, we want to get, see his big pretty face. But yeah, that's a nice one. So that's the second unique that I've gotten. The giant trevally and this one. Wow, that is awesome. Well, that definitely means we've got some good size fish that we control for out here. Just got to be careful. Make sure we don't hit the wrong controls. <laughs> hey, you almost don't even have to really put an anchor down. Now we got to be careful. There's rocks over here. I think what I might do is just try to head between them if I can. Oh, now that's definitely one. Good. Also did it again. Okay, but he's on there. Okay. And he's taking the line. He's still taking the line. Well, we've got almost a thousand feet, so. Okay, I'm hoping this is a even bigger fish than the last one. And he might be. He just keeps taking the line out. Effortlessly.
get under 200 feet. There we go. Several boring minutes later. Alright guys, he's, I have been fighting this guy for about 10 minutes. He just kept taking it out past 100 feet and then I gain and then he gain and I gain and he gain. We might actually have him this time. I don't know. So close. Holy crap. A unique greater amberjack. It is another greater amberjack, but it is the biggest I've caught so far. Holy crap. That's two uniques. Different species. Very nice. $21,890. One hundred sixty pounds, almost one hundred sixty-one pounds. Thirty thousand XP. Jeez, I am just going to be leveling up like crazy. Might even make it to the next waterway, just from this, or maybe even be to the one after that. Wouldn't that be nice? Get to the Amazon maze and then get to the Congo. Yeah, let's take a look at this fella. There's a big fish. Let's see. Get better lighting here. There we go. Still see my face. That's as big as they come, guys. Unique greater amberjack. 72.2 inches, 160.940 pounds. Just shy of 161. Not bad at all. Yeah, they seem to be more akin to the trolling. Something tells me that the tuna are going to be out further in the ocean. Maybe not so close to shore. I'm just guessing, though. They say pelagic, so... That means I need to do some more exploration, without a doubt. How much have I gotten so far in my storage here? Let's see. Already up to 65,000 cash. Even got my little Japanese anchovy. <laughs> Couldn't give it to the darn cats. I don't know what they're talking about with the cats. There's a lot of missions here. We still need to get that striped bedito. Still need to find the marlin. See, I haven't found marlin. I haven't found tuna. So I don't know where in the world we're going to catch them. We still need to get the ruby snapper and the job fish. I think it's job fish. Like job from the Bible. Well, all we can do is do some exploration and try to find some more fish. Can keep grinding here too. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye bye.